Legislation that would allow direct shipment of wine from out of state to your front door is a step closer to becoming law as the House Liquor Control Committee has passed House Bill 121, which may now be taken up on the floor of the House. State Representative Kurt Sonny of the 4th Legislative District is the bill's author and is here to speak briefly about it. Representative, with regard to bringing wine in from out of state right now, what is currently in place? Well, currently you can uh, have wine directly shipped in if the liquor store in your area doesn't carry it. Uh, but the wine would have to be shipped to that liquor store. It would be the store of your choice. Um, but when you do that, the liquor store has a 30% markup. Then you also have the 18% Johnstown flood tax, and you have the 6% sales tax. Um, so it's, it's quite a bit of taxation and markup on top of the wine. So this, if becomes law, would be a convenience thing. It would also be cheaper for the consumer, correct? Yes, because the consumer wouldn't have to pay that 30% markup. What are the requirements for the place you'd be buying wine from? In other words, the, the out-of-state winery, if you choose to do business with them? Well, and that's the key. It would have to be an out-of-state winery. And that winery would have to be licensed with the Commonwealth. Um, you know, it's imperative that the Commonwealth be able to identify those wineries that are going to be doing business in Pennsylvania um, and to make sure that we can get our tax and there to remit the taxes back to the Commonwealth on a quarterly basis. This is a very big understatement. Wine is very big business in your district, obviously, in Erie County for that matter. It's also big tourism as well. I think some people would be surprised to know that the wine industry is very much in favor of this. Explain why. Yes, they are. And, and of course, in Erie County, you know where I'm from, the, the wineries are in very close proximity to the interstate. So they get a lot of travelers that stop into their wineries. And, and one of the first questions they ask is, can you ship this to my door? And, um, you know, with, with House Bill 121, we get this passed. Um, you know, three quarters of the states allow for direct shipment. But a number of those that allow for direct shipment require reciprocity. In other words, if we can, you can ship to our state if we can ship to yours. So this will absolutely open up more markets for the wine industry in Pennsylvania. You got brought up a very good point. Pennsylvania is very much a minority in this issue, are we not? Yes. Yes, we are. I think there's only a, a 14 states, I think, that, that have not come into the fold yet and of course the wine industry would love to see you know all states can you know come into the fold of allowing direct shipments so that they can ship everywhere in the United States and, and if we can get this done in Pennsylvania you know that's just one more knockdown for the industry and and puts a little bit more pressure on those remaining to to allow the same. Someone is no doubt going to raise the question about shipping to somebody who's under the age of 21. What do you say to that? You know, that the argument might have been a little different, but a few years ago, you know, the LCB started shipping directly to your home. You know, if you were going to pay the shipping costs and, and order through the LCB system. So they licensed these shippers. And the, the wine to be shipped to your home would, would have to be marked as alcohol, and it would have to be signed for by someone that's 21 years of age. And my bill also clarifies the fact that the LCB will be able to go in and monitor those shippers to make sure that they are getting those signatures from the required people. Finally, privatization obviously is a very hot topic in Pennsylvania. This bill has nothing to do with privatization, but it is a liquor bill. Is this bill's passage tied to privatization, or do you think it would run as a standalone? Well, it's currently a standalone bill, and it's my hope that, that we can get it through the House and through the Senate and to the governor's desk as a standalone bill. Um, you know, obviously it, it could be amended into the privatization bill, but this really has nothing to do with privatization. You know, this, this is something, this is a consumer bill. This is something that the consumers of Pennsylvania have been asking for for years, and it, it's really about time that we get it done. If you have questions about this or any other legislative topic, we'll show you how to get in touch with Representative Sonny in a few seconds. I'm Scott Little. Thanks for spending five minutes with State Representative Kurt Sonny.